Hi there, Grade 5. Today we're going to review some tenses, the present simple and the present continuous, the past simple and the past continuous. So you should really make sure you can recognise which one is which and why we use it. We're going to listen to Chip and the Professor and see if you can recognise each tense. Okay, so here we are. The Professor and Chip are old friends. It's time to hear them again. Listening to. Listen and read. Where did Professor go? Did you enjoy the robot convention, Professor? Yes, thanks, Chip. I go there every year. It's always great. What are you doing? I'm looking for your present. Oh, here it is. When I was walking around the robot convention, I saw this. It's a little chip. Yes, it walks and it talks. When I was sitting on the plane, it said hello to the man next to me. Hello. Hello. So you can see in the um, grammar box the present simple one. I go there every year. It's always great. So we talk about habits, something we do every year or perhaps every day I brush my teeth or every month I go to um, have my hair cut or something like that. And then we've got the present continuous to talk about actions happening now. What are you doing? I'm looking for your prison. And then we've got the past simple and the past continuous. We use the past simple to talk about actions that interrupted other actions in the past. When I was sitting on the plane, I said hello to the man next to me. Use the past continuous to talk about actions that were interrupted. I was walking around when I saw this. So the past continuous goes together with the past simple and is interrupted by the past simple. So now complete exercise three, and then I will show you the answers. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers now to exercise three. So the first one, I go swimming on Saturday mornings. It's something that happens regularly. Number two, my brother washes TV Sorry, my brother is watching TV at the moment. There's something happening now. My mum and dad work every day. It's their habit or routine. We are having lunch now. Something happening now. The boys play football in the park on Saturdays. That's something every Saturday. And the children are working hard at the moment. Something happening now. The picture at the bottom, we can make sentences about what's happened when it started to rain. So picture number one. They were sitting on the grass when it started to rain. So there you can see them running for the bus there. Okay, number two, when it started to rain, he went to the cafe. There you can see him going there. Number three, he was playing football when it started to rain, so he went to the bus stop there. 
And then number four, he was also playing football, but he went to the cafe to wait in the cafe. And then number five, he was eating an ice cream when it started to rain. So he ran for the bus there. I don't know what happened to his ice cream. And person number six, who was also eating an ice cream, ran to the bus stop to wait for the bus there. So things that were interrupted by the rain. Okay, on page seven, there's some irregular verbs. So I need you to learn these irregular verbs off by heart. You can find them on the workbook on page 119. So um, just like last year. So we have these irregular verbs where the past tense and the past participle are the same. So you've got buy, bought, bought. Then these irregular verbs, the past tense and the past participle are different. Speak, spoke, spoken. So we use a past participle when we make a passive or when we make present perfect or past perfect. So we'll be using that this year. So we need to know the past participle like she has spoken or he has bought a new toy okay so check those you can do that by yourself and fill in the table welcome back everybody so here we have the welcome back song so I'm going to play it and then what I want you to do is arrange it in the correct order Listening three. Listen and order the lines. Sing Welcome Back. You're back from your break in the sun. You're sad your holiday's done. Now it's back to school once more and there's lots of work in store. You had a good time by the sea With your friends and your family Now your lessons have begun But you can still have some fun You visited people you knew You went to a fun fair or two But you knew you couldn't stay So welcome back today Welcome back everyone so um, I hope we're gonna have fun even though we have to learn from home let's make the best of it and then try and learn at the same time God bless you all see you next time